TYC Taking Your Challenges, a brand new episode with brand new challenges. And as most of you probably know, I did fly out to Leicester for the PvP All-Stars Tournament. Unfortunately, I did go out in the qualification round, and I feel like I've disappointed you guys knowing how much you've supported me throughout the last month. However, Rix did actually do a great job and he made it all the way to semifinals. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's first TYC, which comes from Pud. And he wants me to get some kills doing a 6 to 8 way switch hybriding. And I will start this TYC by using Salad's Ropes and Black Dragon Height, and then eventually move myself up towards Barrels. <laughs> Oh my, I killed him. I was out as well. 580k from that kill. Wow, nice. Oh my god, 250k. This clip is probably my favorite one because I didn't miss a single clip. Oh! We got him. What a nice switch as well. Oh my god. 120k. It's not about the loot. It's the fact that I killed him so beautifully. I have decided to upgrade the gear to an 8-way switch with a total risk of 2.2 million. Oh my god, good fight. 1.2 mil, wow. And you guys know me, I have to try this challenge on a streamer, and the one I have chosen today is Via Wednesday. Drop what you are doing right now and fight me. I don't want to fight you. I will risk 100 mil. I will risk 100 mil. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. So the fight is on. She told me to not bring the 100 mil, but I decided to bring it anyways. I got the 8-way switch while she's doing the 4-way switch. Let's see who wins this fight. Bruh. Touch him! Oh, fuck, you know what? I don't, I don't have my attack on. Mm. I can't even take I can't... <laughs> No And she's oh my gosh she's dead. Go Oh shit. This is the saddest thing. I didn't okay, one, I didn't have auto retaliate on. Two I have my shit set to not attack people in the wild. Good fight Via. Let's now go back to deep wilderness. <laughs> I just tried to recoil. Oh my god. That's embarrassing. So I logged on to World 73 just to find out that two people were tag teaming one person. So I started helping that guy out. And then they started specking me one after one until this happened. <laughs> Good fight. I almost died to a recoil again. 270k. It's time for me to do the final upgrade of the gear, full Arams, full Carol 6-way, and a 5-way Darok switch. Then the total risk is 10 million. Good fight, man. Check the loot as well, 500k. Good fight, man. He got a 99! I'm not dying to him getting a 99. So I have a bunch of money in my bank, which I never really use anymore. So if you want to see me do this challenge again, but with a 100 mil budget, 5,000 likes. DH, DH bro. There we go. Okay. So this guy who I'm fighting right now, he's well known in the PK community. The top 1% knows who he is. His name is Boom Sagan. And he used to be the leader of the PvP clan Wolves. I 
kept boom saigon like that what the fuck the loot from that kill was 1.8 mil all right the final upgrade to this challenge eight way range and mage switch into the ags and gmail for a total risk of 19 mil <gasps> oh! he should have had me there what a good start Oh my god. <gasps> we got him. Good fight, man. Let's check the loot. 800k. Oh, that's so nice. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> I didn't watch my HP. Oh my god. Man, he was good. Big respect to King across. Good fight, man. Very good fight. Looking back at the clip, he got me for a 36 5 stack, a total of 95 damage in just a few moments. And with this kill, let's move on to the next challenge. Ganon95 Music wants me to complete a full solo bandage run in max gear in a PvP world without dying. So I could do this for one run, but I'm going to do this until I get a unique item or until I die and fail the challenge. The current risk, 44 mil. We got everything. Let's go! There we go, 43 kill counts. First kill count, will we have the Virtuoso Range Boots luck in this challenge? Nope, just go. And just so you guys don't think I'm wasting money for no particular reason, when I was an All Star, we went staking, me, Alf, and Abyss, and I managed to get myself. Oh my god. Yeah, as I said, 150 mil profit from the dual arena while I was in Leicester. First trip from Bandos in a PvP world done. We managed to get ourselves 200k profit. 5 kills. Alright, back to another trip. What's this guy doing here? Oh my god, hello? What's he doing in a PvP world? He got um, 1, 2, 3, 4. Got a bunch of risk. This is awkward. Should we go in for the kill? Let's go in for it. He's running! Why is he in a PvP world though? I'm so confused! I decided to change the special attack weapon from Dragon Warhammer to Dragon Claws. With this, I could possibly get a kill. As predicted, he left after I went in for the attack. I shouldn't have attacked him. Second trip, 5 kills, 150 kill profit. I'm putting a timer on screen just to see how much time it takes for me to do one full trip. Trapping at the back street, running through the patch like a trap. Zoom. Zoom. That's a white dot. Level 80. Just standing there. Tickle toes. Found two people so far in the God Wars dungeon. So five more kills made us 200k richer. Still no unique. And it took us 15 minutes. And we also got ourselves a clue scroll, which we will be doing right now. And we got a chaos kit. 3, 2, 1. Let's go! No comments. Another trip done. We got ourselves 160k. And another clue scroll, which we are going to do right now. No comment. Hold on, there's a bone here. Someone was here killing. Bruh. Isn't that super rare? Oh my god. Rune Sword is 1 in 406 drop rate. That could have been a Bandu chest plate, a Bandu Tassi. Now I'm getting the Rune Sword, why not? See that level 118? count 5 to 7 we got 5 minute tell block uh, my heart is still beating you know no i died i failed the challenge oh my god so i tried to go in for the clutch kill with 24 hp left no food Unfortunately, as I killed General Grador, he killed me as well. However, we still managed to get ourselves 47 kills in a PvP world in max gear, so that gotta count for something.
Before we move on with the final TYC of the day, I just want to say thank you. We are almost at 100k subscribers. So if you want to be a part of the first 100k subscribers of this channel, make sure to subscribe right now. So the final TYC comes from Zach and he wants me to invite a Conor McGregor impressionist to do a commentary over one of my PK clips. And for this reason, I have invited Ginger Beardy. Oh, you like this sea engineer. He's quite nice, he is, with these hits. Oh my god, that's a nice 52, that is. He's gonna get him slapped up. I don't see this guy coming back, honestly. He is getting destroyed right now, you know, so fuck that. Oh my god, what's that? That's nice, that is. Oh, that was disgusting. That's a shit spec, that is. Oh my god, that's a nice 74. He should have had that loot spit shine for him. That's not nice, that is. That was over quicker than me and Jose Aldo, honestly. I like that, though. Let's have a look at this loot. 3.8 mil, I like that. That's nice. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna link both Ginger Beardy and Via Wednesday in the description down below. They both stream on Twitch. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to give the video a like. Subscribe if you're new. And for the first time ever, I've taken one week of work to play the Dead Man Mode tournament. So I'm looking forward to that. You can expect almost daily videos in the next week.